Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. This video is completely different from what we normally post on our channel. From the day we started this channel, many newbies have asked us what is the biomedical engineering and why biomedical engineering is studied for. What are the professions available after pursuing biomedical engineering? So this video will be a guide video for all the newbies and the young ones who want to pursue a career in biomedical engineering or in medical engineering. Let's start the video. First, we begin with career selection as a biomedical engineer. Before you jump into the sector of biomedical engineering, ask yourself this question. First, do you like working in a hospital environment? Second, do you like working close to the patients in hospitals? Third, do you like traveling for work out of your hometown? Fourth, are you curious about how medical equipment works? Fifth, do you want to study about biomedical engineering or biomedical science? Because biomedical science is completely different stream than biomedical engineering, because it also contains such disciplines as medical microbiology, clinical virology, clinical epidemiology, and genetic epidemiology. There is only a very small part of biomedical engineering or medical engineering in biomedical science. I hope now you are ready to know about biomedical engineering after the career selection topic. What is biomedical engineering? Biomedical engineering, or BME, is the application of engineering principles and methods to solve medical and biological problems. It also integrates electrical, mechanical, chemical, and life science principles in the develop of new healthcare technologies and systems. This was the definition, but if I explain the term biomedical engineering in simplified way is how you develop an external body organ to support an internal body organ, or developing a diagnostic device or monitoring device to support the medical condition is called biomedical or medical engineering. Educational relation between medical doctor and a medical engineer. System works somewhat same, doctors complete MBBS and chose specialization, which they like to work on like urologists take care of kidneys, cardiologists take care of the heart and so on. In the same manner, you can complete biomedical engineering and can be specialized in specific equipment like EEG, ultrasound, MRI, x-rays, and any number of equipment which is used in the healthcare sector. It is very crucial to know which sector you like to work after completion of your diploma or bachelor program. If you like to research and want to invent a new medical device concept, then you can work with many research companies in the health sector. Job Profiles in Biomedical Engineering and Positions When the word engineering involved in any field, it is related to know the answers, technicalities, and come with ideas to resolve the needs. Same way in biomedical engineering stream, you will be learning about existing technologies available in the medical sector and getting into the research to develop the same product or a new product which will be in compliance of medical grades. As an example, in 1935, Albert Grass first built his three-channel EEG machine, which works on battery at the Harvard Medical School, and as technology advanced, he, with his wife Ellen Robinson Grass, formed the Grass Instrument Company in 1945. In the same manner, Nihon Koden has invented successfully developed the ME-1D, the world's first eight-channel direct writing EEG that was completely AC powered in the 1950s. So if you are more in the research and development program, then the next job is for you guys. The first professional profession once you complete biomedical engineering can be R&D engineer. But this type of job mostly given preference to the students who have been completely into research throughout the academics while pursuing biomedical engineering. The second profession is sales and marketing engineers. If you have pursued the MBA marketing program after biomedical engineering, and if you have a good sales marketing skill, then there are many companies where you can work on different positions in the company for sales and marketing of a medical product. The third position is application specialist. This is also known as pre-sales and post-sale application specialist. Their role is to educate the users in a hospital. This is also a part of sales and marketing. If you have very good communication skills and interaction with the doctor, then it's one of the most learning and challenging roles in biomedical industry. The fourth job position is hospital biomedical engineers. This position plays a vital role in the hospital. 
In this profile, you need to maintain all records of the medical equipment's decision need to be made for purchasing a medical equipment in hospital, reducing breakdown time of medical equipment, annual calibration, and preventative maintenance of all medical equipment. Educating users about how to use the medical device, cleaning process, and maintaining the life of medical reusable accessories. These are the very few points in which this role in biomedical engineers perform in hospitals. There is a lot of different work involved if you work in a hospital. Fifth is service engineers, also known as customer support engineers. In this role, there are two categories where you fix the machine in your own workshop or either you visit the hospital for fixing the medical equipment. Mostly, in-house workshops are used for fixing, calibrating, and testing for a longer period. In this case, medical equipment has to be taken from the hospital to the servicing workshop for the repairs. But if you are a customer support engineer, the 90% repair work to be done in the hospital. Mostly, you diagnose the problem and replace the spare part in the hospital workshop itself. In this profile, you also install the new machines in hospital. So these are a few roles which are definitely looked for, but there are other roles also available like medical device calibration engineer, medical testing engineers, medical radiation test engineers, and many more. I like to end this video on a small note that in this pandemic, many biomedical engineers working in the front line to keep up with the medical devices running for patients in hospital by putting their life at risk but very few people know about them. They are hidden heroes of healthcare sector where they work day and night. This was a small guidance video on biomedical engineering. If you are a learner, then like this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think about biomedical engineering in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.